Okay, so I promised that I would demonstrate my tool actually being used. So here's that. Uh, and I also promised I would continue to make Wii content. So let's see how much longer I can keep this up. So this is the script. Uh, but you know, that's, that's, that's the boring part. Let's get into actually using it. So the first thing that you actually, you know, you actually need to have a Wii menu, uh, wad. So the easiest way to obtain one of those is of course, uh, everyone's favorite, uh, NUS downloader application, <clears throat> whether it be the, uh, classic one or the fixed one that pulls from the Wii U servers. Either one works. They download the same exact content. So, if I just go and download System Menu 4.3U, pack wad, and go. Um, an important thing I'll mention is that at this point in time, I have only tested this script to work with System Menu 4.3U. I would assume reasonably that it would be compatible with 4.3U. Uh, E, K, and J as well. I don't think the reason region should make a difference. Um, it's very possible it would even work on 4.2 and 4.1, maybe 4.0. I don't exactly know what's different between those versions in terms of the file structure, but I do advise using caution if you're going to try any of those older versions because it could apply the patches incorrectly in such a way that it would prevent the disk channel from operating at all and that would not be pleasant. So, as I said with the previous ones, in the descriptions, please only try this in Dolphin, unless you're willing to take on the full responsibility of potentially breaking your console. With that out of the way, now that I've downloaded the Wii menu, uh, it's in Titles 1.2, version 5.13, there it is. So, I'm gonna go ahead and copy that into the directory with the script. Now, if I head over to the terminal, I can run that script with the wad that I just downloaded as the argument, and it does some checks, downloads some tools, and as you can see, the wad is extracted, and now it presents you with some nice friendly options. So the first step is, of course, to unpack everything, and you can see in the background that that's going through and it's pulling everything apart. So inside the wad folder, this is the contents of the actual .wad, and then it pulls out this 0, uh, 01 file, extracts it to here, and then hidden in layout common, you'll see a, a diskband.ash file. This file is then extracted out to here, and then in there, these are the contents, and that is the file that needs to be modified here. So, now that everything's extracted, if I press enter, it'll bring the menu back up, and I can enable DVD in disk channel. So, that's enabled it, and I'm going to go ahead and say yes to this, which just changes the positions of the three disks because the DVD is very offset to the left and it's partially off screen. Um, it has come to my attention that at the time of recording this, the um, repositioning disks does not work properly if you intend to use uh, the 4x3 aspect ratio. Uh, it only works with 16x9, and I do plan to address that, but it just takes some extra work to figure out uh, what those values need to be set to to make it look correct. So at this point, I can go ahead and repack that diskband.ash file. So, the file in here, this is now the newly modified version, which means I can tell it to pack the system menu wad. It'll go ahead and repack this file into here, and then repack all of that as RVL Wii system menu v513 modified. <clears throat> or whatever the name of your file is. And then my same disclaimer about, uh, please be careful about installing this. And then I can clean up. Have it remove the tools. And then it exits. So from this point, I have right here 
the modified system menu wad. So if I head on over to Dolphin, I can have it install this file, which is located right in here. And then once it's installed, I can go ahead and tell it to load the system menu. I just have to quickly navigate through the system setup. No reason to actually set any of these values. And like I said, only 16 by 9 works exactly correctly at this point. Um, but I do intend to fix that. Sure. And then, once everything is all set up, and we've arrived at the Wii menu, I open the disk channel, and there it is. Uh, beyond that, uh, as I've said with the previous videos, it doesn't actually do anything. So... You know, you do this yourself, you've reached this point. I hope that it was worth the work. Um, <laughs> it's not really much uh, much reason to this other than, you know, you think it's fun. Um, and beyond that, I really don't have a whole lot to show off. Uh, however, I do intend to actually make a video trying to explain the entire process of doing this manually and all the steps I had to take because... The blog articles I wrote on it are, two of them are a little old at this point. Um, they're not written the nicest to read. Um, and I want to have a have a, nice, a clearer demonstration of uh, how I made this all work. So hopefully I can work on that soon. Uh, a little higher production value than this video. But I kind of just wanted to show off. That's how the script works. That's it running. Um, and then of course... Uh, if you really wanted to and you accepted the risk, this file can be installed onto a system uh, that is matching in region. So, of course, if you have 4.3u like I do on your actual system, you would need to patch 4.3u. I would not advise uh, installing a different version than the version actively installed on the console. If you're on 4.2 somehow, don't update to 4.3 with this. Um, and still, I would advise that you really just don't do this unless you absolutely know what you're doing. Uh, don't try older versions on a real console. If you're absolutely determined to install them on your real console, test them in Dolphin first. Make sure everything works. And then you're on your own from that point. Um, I'm not taking any responsibility for anything that may happen to your console if you choose to do that. And I think that is about it. So... Like I said last time, here's to continued Wii content. Bye.